All right, everybody, we are back in the game, and as you can see from the fact that we're in the uh, uh, faction selection screen, it's going to be a brand new campaign. Um, this is obviously episode one, and it's the Lucium Total War mod. Now, we've just finished up a South American campaign because this mod, in fact, has two campaign modes a South American one and a Euron, European slash North African slash Middle East one. And uh, I've selected the Persian Empire, uh, the Safavid Persian Empire. And we're going to go with hard, very hard um, battle difficulty and medium campaign, because I've never done this one before. But um, the battles don't seem to be too hard um, from what I've experienced so far. So we will go with very hard difficulty. Uh, let's see, we'll do a short campaign because it still requires 40 regions. Uh, basically, we have to capture a lot of territory out here and eliminate the Grand Duchy of Georgia, which should be somewhere around about there on the map, because uh, the Caucasian, or the Caucasus Mountains, goes from uh, west to east, right across there, and Georgia should be somewhere up around about there. You can't zoom in on this. Um, Right, our strength, a rising economic and military powerhouse. I know in um, uh, Empire Total War, and especially Darth Mod, the Persians are incredibly rich. However, we do have a weakness, technologically backward compared to European powers. Right, invest some of that wealth in better schools and more education. Maybe. All right, do you want to read through this? Uh, it says it's estimated easy. Um, I guess that really doesn't affect whether it's on one or the other. Right, the domain of the Safavid dynasty was the greatest empire Persia ever formed after its conquest of Islam. However, as it is now, nearing its 200th year in existence, um, happy birthday, belated, the giant's foundations are finally beginning to crumble. Uh, yes, you always need good foundations. Despite Shah Abbas I, the Great, conquering vast territories spanning from Iraq to Pakistan and from Georgia to the Arabian Sea, his death left the country in hands of the more and more prominent Caucasians. In the following decades, in addition to never-ending wars between Shia Persians and Sunni Ottomans, more rivals have arisen o over the previous century. The Russians are knocking on Persia's door. Okay, that's never a good sign, is it? Knock, knock on heaven's door. Uh, it was that Guns N' Roses song, wasn't it? And uh, the Dutch and the British. What do the Dutch have to do with them? Uh, the Dutch and the British. Huh? I can expect the British to be everywhere, causing trouble. But what are the Dutch doing to the Safavid Persians? Have extended their control over Indian trade routes. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, all right. The unstable nature of Safavid rule over the vast domain Persia consists of necessitates a strong ruler to focus on the defensive and build up to overthrow his foes. With the words, God is great, loud on his mouth. Okay. Well, we actually have two seas, don't we? Um, the Persian Gulf, well, it's a gulf, but it's basically a sea. And the Caspian Sea to the north. Uh, so we have a long land border over here, and a long land border over there. I honestly don't expect any naval invasions against us. Um, but we'll see. Who do we um, neighbor over here? Basically, the Ottomans, wouldn't it? I mean, the Russians would be up there. That's where Georgia is. And uh, there's actually a... Um, the Kazakh Khanate should be somewhere up here. Um, that's where Egypt is. And this mod also has, I think, the Khalidi Emirate is down here in the Arabian Peninsula. Right. Uh, okay, let's start it all up and see what we're working with. Now, hopefully this campaign will not crash. Um, I've done two South American campaigns as Chile and the Portuguese Empire, and I don't think I had a single crash in either one of them. Now I've done a couple of European ones, and they do tend to randomly crash on the campaign map, virtually never during battles. 
Right, these are the members of the Lucium Total War team. Lucium Total War also has its official YouTube channel, which there will be a link to below the video. You should definitely go and support them. And there will be an update to the mod sometime this year. So I'm going to try and binge record this um, because I don't know when the update will come. Of course, it's not like a mod that you download from Steam where it will automatically update. So I can, in fact, uh, finish this one at my leisure. But if you ever come across any of these people in real life, uh, give them a big thank you for all of the free work that they do for Total War players. Right, welcome to the Safavid Persian. Uh, they probably don't have room for it, right? Okay, that's mostly what I've just read, isn't it? Harder economy. Um, let me see. Now, I ran into something like this in my Portuguese South American campaign. Um, I'm going to say no for the moment. Right, there we are down in the uh, bottom right corner. We start with 5,000. We're actually expecting to make a nice profit. Uh, basically, 50% of our treasury. Let's see, uh, do we have any agents already? We've got two missionaries, uh, not particularly good missionaries. We should get them out doing missionary type things. No pun intended. Right, uh, that's already mostly Islam or Islamic. Most of this area should be mostly Islamic. So do we even need to send them out? I wonder, I mean, these are 100%. Uh, what would even be our first target? All right, maybe send them up here. Um, all right, this is where modern-day Azerbaijan is, but I don't know how far modern-day Azerbaijan extends. Is the city of Shervan still in um, Azerbaijan, modern-day? Or is it in... Uh, is it in Iran? I want to say it has an, Ira an Iranian or Persian sounding name. Although the official language of Iran is Farsi, isn't it? So I guess it has a Farsi sounding name. Right, see this is 80% and that's a rebel settlement. Okay, military forces. Right, we have an emperor at Isfahan. There he is, Emperor Hussein of Persia. Okay. Do we have any ships? No, we don't have any ships. Alright. At least we've got very loyal generals. Oh, so many um, mods have very disloyal generals. In fact, I'm doing two campaigns right now where I've got so many disloyal generals that I'm only using faction leaders to go out and do any fighting. Uh, but all oh, these ones are top rank. Look at them. Alright. Now we get to look at our units. Now, it did say that we were uh, technologically backwards, so um, in this campaign we actually have some units who are um, kind of old-fashioned, but then we get some more modern ones later on in the campaign. I don't know if it's a simple upgrade to the barracks that gives us more modern units or not, or whether there's some kind of script. Um, but let's see our settlements are they all happy if you're happy and you know it show it you certainly look happy so i say we send out as many troops as possible because we can always lower the happiness all right now that's odd because it says that we're supposed to wipe out the grand duchy of georgia doesn't it except we start ally to them um that orthodox christian so I'm guessing we basically find as many rebel settlements on our borders and go and grab them. How many do we start with? Nine. So we're almost a quarter of the way there. Yeah, so we've got to backstab them at some point. Now, can we see any rebel settlements? Yes, we can. Um, Basra. All right, I know that's in modern day Iraq. National borders do change over time. Alright. But it doesn't look like there's too much over there, does it? Looks like a very small settlement. Alright. We could probably take it, but I'm just going to wait. 
Right, so now we have Kirkuk, which again is in one day Iraq, and is that Baghdad? It is. Alright, so Kirkuk, two units. Five units of Baghdad. What can we get to go over there? Uh, probably not very good road network. Um, yeah, this is very mountainous terrain, isn't it? Um, like all the way up the western side of Iran. Uh, very mountainous. Prone to earthquakes, unfortunately. Uh, I think there was a fairly recent major earthquake somewhere up in this region. And then, of course, just this year, we had the uh, major earthquake in, what was it, Turkey, wasn't it? Uh, southeastern Turkey, somewhere around here. Uh, unfortunately, many people uh, did not survive that. All right. Now, who does that belong to? Georgia. Okay, so there's the Georgian capital. So they may backstab us. You never know. But for the moment, uh, we should go out and try to conquer what we can. There's our Bella. Alright. Who can we even send out? We don't have any extra units there. We've got a good force over here, though. And we do have somewhat of a decent road network. Alright. Definitely need a road network in, in this province, don't we? And again, we need to find out what's out here, how close the Kazakh Khanate is, and whether there's any rebel settlements so that we can expand. Alright, three units there. Is it? It's only going to take three turns to get them over there. Uh, we don't want to leave that cavalry, uh, artillery, sorry, just sitting there. And it's going to take a long while to move them. Right, can we build up this settlement? Alright, we can. Uh, we can convert to a small fort. Cultural policy, military policy, or economic? Mm. Uh, when's it going to upgrade? At 950. Okay, can we increase that? Alright, yes we can, by a half percent. Alright, that gives us another half percent. That gives us um, a lot of things to do with the military, of course. And that one probably just keeps us very happy. Do we have any corruption? Uh, 755, that's not too bad. Uh, most of that, or a lot of that, seems to be over here. I would like economic policy. But I'd also like to get rid of that corruption. There's probably a lot of corruption over on the east because it's further away from the capital, isn't it? Alright. Uh, 9.50. Alright. That one's already got 1,100. Any extra units? Alright. Got an extra cav there. I'm going to send him down. He can join up with those. Alright, there's uh, civilian conscripts. Uh, 100 to recruit, AD for maintenance. And then you got the Arab Home Guard Militia. Look like a solid spare unit, but we're going to be up against, well, you know, right at the start we might not be up against too many gunpowder units. Um, I mean, we will border the Ottomans, but I don't know how advanced they start. Uh, we also need to find out if we can get any diplomats. Let me go through, because uh, there's another missionary. I need a diplomat. You're a, that's it, envoy. They are not called diplomats in the mod, they are called envoys. Alright. And I'll go for economic again. 4%, 3.5. 4 and a half is the best we can get. Uh, that's a fortification. We can convert it to a town. 
right now we're not getting any units out of it are we all right um it's making good money let me just see how many forts do we have we got two fortifications and seven cities where's the other fortification Tehran should be a city that's the modern day capital of Iran uh, you are oh okay Isfahan is the current capital All right when did the capital um, assuming that that is historically correct when did the capital move from Isfahan to Tehran if anyone knows we're googling it googling is cheating all right there's a minor fortification they can get Armenian light -like cavalry <clears throat> all right I'm going to test it out um, if we get that and we get access to more military units I might keep that one or I might convert it all right now you'll go economic yep so that that one's definitely going to be economic now those ones were free weren't they all free that one we'd have to pay for and uh, this for Han economic right so we've still got a lot of money left over now we're only going to get one envoy uh, so we want to talk to the Ottomans probably because they are the closest and they would be a very big trading partner and there's a faction down here I think it's called oh I'm probably going to get it wrong I think it's called the Felidi Emirate could be wrong about that and again the Kazakhs should be somewhere up here there's no Indian faction as far as I'm aware of um, so we're only going to have four direct neighbors I think to begin with for a long time and of course we're gonna to have to take out the Georgians I think we are trying to get these four rebel settlements uh, these ones will just go and reinforce uh, that frontier now we will of course and at some point and during the next um, well, next year, two years, three years, four years, we will, of course, try to play as every faction in the mod. Uh, no faction left behind. But I don't know if we will get them all done. Uh, the mod will be updated, uh, as I said. Um, oh, there's an Ottoman fort there, so yeah, the Ottomans are bordering that. Is that an Ottoman city then? Oh, that could be. All right, they're going to fall in one turn in any case. You get going over there. You get going over there. Go for Kukuk. All right. Yep. Keep on moving. I mean, I could get rid of that artillery, couldn't I? I mean, it's costing us 250, and are we really even going to use it? Let's get rid of it. And then we'll just move him up there and he should be able to move a little quicker right we can get another envoy now it looks like the Arab home guard militia get free upkeep which is good we need somebody to garrison last um, settlements right let's get you heading straight for the Ottomans which is going to take you oh how many turns that two three four five six total Right. Now, where was that other one? Minor fortification. Alright, can we now get better units? Oh, we can get a naval base, that's good. Alright, what units? Rural Road, uh, Conscription Office, that would give us Arabic Musketeers, good. Alright, can't we get any other cavalry? Subsistence farming, small majid uh, spread. What is our religion? Uh, Shia or Sunni? Uh, the other one is Kariji, isn't it? Um, because I'm actually doing a campaign down here. 
right around here in the Broken Crescent mod, playing as an Oman. Um, not quite in 1700, I forget what year it is, probably around about 13 or 1400s. But that's a good campaign and a good mod. Um, and I didn't even know that there was a Kariji branch of Islam until I'd start playing that. And then I had to go and Google it, and Googling is cheating, but yeah, I didn't know that Kariji was a branch of Islam. And apparently it is, and has been for a long time. I was only aware of Shia and Sunni. Right, so I think, well, that's only going to cost 800, isn't it? That will give us musketeers. I would like to get that port in. So we we did economic everywhere else. So hopefully that's going to improve that even more. Right, let's see what we can now build. Alright, subsistence farming. Let's get that one going. Same there. Alright, Tabriz. Okay, we can. Innovation building. Oh, is that going to help? Well, that gives us standard cannon. Alright, Envoy meeting hall. Alright, Law bonus. Ah, oh, that's good. I like law. Alright, and it will give us more envoys. Oh, is that religious unrest? There's a lot of Orthodox Christians over in Tabriz. Um, Tabriz, Tabriz, which country is that in at the moment? It's not in, that's not in Armenia, is it? No, Armenia's further up here, somewhere around there. Although, as I said, borders do move. I'm sure Tabriz was at one point within Armenia. All right, now we want them to grow, but we also want some type of units. Right. Well, there is a naval base there, so we can at least get some trade going. We won't have to rely on land trade. Right. So, um, I wonder. Let Let me do an economic one and see if we can still recruit units, because we can always disband that. It's only going to waste a turn. And I do like roads, though. Right, you don't have anything available, but if we put in that one, now that gives us civilians, maybe we can get free upkeep with them. <clears throat> right, I don't even think we're going to get a battle in this one, this is just going to be uh, getting set up. Yeah, let's get that one. There's a chance we could have a very quick battle there. Who are we actually up against? Hmm, Arabic musketeers and pikemen. Okay, fairly even matchup, right? They may just surrender. Don't even know how many people are there. That's 99% Islam, so not too many problems from that. Isfahan, usually I see it with an F instead of a P. But it does work either way. Not sure if there's a correct or an official um, spelling of it. Aha, uh -huh, they are actually going to put up a fight, it looks like. Well, we've got um, 10 more men. Okay, if you say so. James Madison was the fourth US president. If ever I get in the quiz, I'm going to know that. Alright, do they just raise their shield to their face? That's what it looked like, didn't it? I swear they did. They're a cool looking unit. No. It looked like they raised something. Unless it's a glitch. No, because... What's that black there? Now it says that they're spearmen and they do have a spear. Did they somehow put the 
shield and like on their back or something. No, but it is there. All right, you on fire at will? You are. Why aren't you firing? Because that should be coming out. They look pretty cool, don't they? Uh, dark blue uh, uniform with red turban and um, sash or belt. All right. Ah, they also have the spear wall ability. Cool, but we can't use their captain's ability because of that. All right, speed it all up. Might as well zoom in. Okay, is that wrong? Okay. Let's have a look at them before they start firing. Alright. Cool looking unit. Oh, they've already got their bayonets fixed. They should be firing pretty soon. Come on lads, are you going to fire? There you go, now they're in range. Let's see them get a volley off. Alright, uh, you put your pikes down again. Alright, there they go kneeling and second ranked firing. Alright, we are now receiving fire. Right, there goes there like pikes. Let's go after them. Can our Arabic musketeers beat their Arabic musketeers at the moment? We are. I wonder why we are on very hard difficulty, uh, but that shouldn't affect the missile units. All it does is change the um, uh, defense and attack. As far as I know, it doesn't change any ranged abilities. We are getting crushed by their light pikes. Oh, absolutely crushed. Why? Why did we get crushed? Obviously, um, obviously pikes outranges. No, not a brother of a murderer. Now, is that an actual insult? Because this is the only time I've ever heard of it. Yeah, they destroyed the Arab Home Guard unit, which looked pretty cool. Alright, we've only taken 113, but we are killing all of them off. They, they, did, they just routed. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't even fire at them. They just got close to my unit and routed. Now, uh, I haven't even lost my general, technically. He's running off over there, though. Alright. Yeah, don't worry about shooting them. Shoot the ones who are shooting back at you. Uh, they've just rallied, but then they took a... I'm about to take a volley because they're standing in front. Yep, they're wavering. We will have to shoot them. If they get into my formation, I think they will break us. And we are steady. Yes, they've broken again. All right, back to firing over there. Uh, we're only slightly winning. Well, we've actually lost more, higher percentage, because they still have the forty-six pikemen. Alright, 63 versus 61. Remember, uh, they had. We had 10 more men, didn't we? Because we besieged them for two turns. Not two tons, two turns. That's a total war joke, by the way. Most of you will get it, some will not. Keep firing, lads. Alright. They seem to be killing more of my men than I'm killing of them. But why? Is it because the pikes are blocking them? And are taking the hits meant for the uh, musketeers? Well, 
blast of pikes getting in there. Cool looking palm tree. Shoot them down. Well, we're actually out of ammunition. Blast. All right. Those pikes might break us now. We broke their pikes. Ooh, I'm just going to accept that. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode. Um, I actually wasn't expecting to get the win then. Alright. Can we get over it? Uh, 739. Uh, they look very happy, and they don't have a large population, and I want to grow it. So that's all we're going to do. We should be able to build a port there. Reinforce Tabriz with four units. All right. Well, we can we can do that. We've got four units there. They won't take long to get up. And then just move you into there temporarily. All right. And you keep um, searching around for other territory to conquer. All right, Spanish succession crisis. Uh, that shouldn't be uh, affecting me. Let's hope not. New family member. Do I have a family tree? I do. Good. That's the one who just got uh, born. Good. All right. Our money's gone. Um, we spent it all. All right. Convert now. Nope, we will have money soon. Like three and a half percent is the best we can get. Well, that's in Tatters, Spanish, Austrian, yes. And then you are also moving. Let's move you straight over there. Get up there. Uh, we got another envoy. Right, uh, we don't have money to get third. Alright, I'm going to send him, send him down here. Oh, if we had a port that would be a lot quicker to get moving. Where's the other one? There he is. You're going to go and talk to the Ottomans. They may reach us earlier. Alright, I do want to see if that's Ottoman. No, that's Israel. And we do get economic policy there. Arabic musketeers. So it doesn't even matter which policy, um, at least it doesn't matter too much. We can still recruit the units, but military focus gives us um, extra slot, doesn't it? Alright, Armenian light cav. We are going to need that over on this side. Right, that's going to be the very first episode in the um, Persian, Safavid Persian campaign in Lucium Total War. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Sorry it was only a incredibly minor little battle there at Basra, but there will definitely be a lot more battles to come, won't there, because this is Total War. And what do you have in war? Battles.